What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. Today guys, we're going to figure out what is going on with this suspension because uh, it's pretty messed up. We got one wheel going this way and the other wheel going that way. So that, that's pretty messed up if you ask me. I got Jothan over here because he's going to be helping me out. I'm going to jack up this car. We're going to try to figure out what's going on with the suspension on these wheels, take off the wheels, and just, you know, diagnose this bad sucker. Hoping um, that the steering rack is fine. Uh, but we won't know any of this stuff until we actually remove all these control arms and everything. And so hopefully in this video, also go down and pick up all those parts for the control arms and everything. Hopefully if we can find them, they're not that easy to find. So we're going to go down to our cycling road, pick all those up, show that all in this video hopefully. But, but yeah, the goal of this video is to just straighten out the wheels and hopefully in the next video, um, we're going to try to assemble everything in the front end of the engine and get this thing to turn over and crank up. That'd be the best thing in the world. But yeah, we just want to get this car to move it around facing the garage so we can actually work on it during the night as well. Because like, when I had the car over here, I could have work on it last night um you guys because you guys can't see it and it's actually already five right now I'm kind of recording this video a little bit late hopefully we can get some footage for you guys but we'll be doing this in the next couple days anyways let's go ahead and get her up We're actually using the pods because I actually care about this car. Oh crap, we need to jack it up just a little bit more. <laughs> yeah, so that's when you know you have something going on with your suspension when it sounds like this. Dear God. These rocks falling out. <laughs> Mover. I'm hoping just the calipers are not seized up. If the calipers are good, that'd be good because those things cost a lot of money. I guess it's safe to say that she is a dunzo. Ah <laughs> oh, man, look at that M badge. Oh boy, that's what I'm talking about. That's safe to say. Look how big these rotors are. Holy cow. Actually, the rotors look brand new. <laughs> Honestly. No, no, like they're rusted out, but look at the thickness on these bad boys. Oh, yeah. All right, and the brake pads are brand new. <laughs> so I'm, I'm just hoping the caliper is not... See Dude, this is a huge caliper. See how big this caliper thing is? I think it's like a two-piston. Is it a single piston? I don't know. I, I don't know. I have to look these up. I think this is a single piston, but it may be, it's huge. I don't know why a huge one would only be a single piston. Anyways, go ahead and remove all these bad boys and uh, figure out what's going on underneath this suspension right here. Just a couple more bolts we have to get here, guys. I don't really know what I'm doing. I'm just taking the whole thing apart because it's all messed up. Today, guys, I have somebody coming over right now to purchase my beaut, my beauty, and Jonathan over here playing a red interior. <laughs> um, so I'm finally, I would say finally, because it is kind of like, and I'm, I'm actually it's not really that emotional. I'm just, I'm just gonna be realistic. <laughs> this car has given me a lot of headaches over the years, but this car is what started the channel, what started it all. So I'll never forget this car. It is a big deal for me, but it's always giving me headaches. Uh, we did fix everything. So from transmission, we replaced it to like everything in the engine bay, to the water pump, to pretty much all the interior stuff. This car has been going through a lot and it has a lot of good mods on it. And I'm letting it go for pretty much less than how much Kelly Blue Book actually sells this car. So it's kind of sad, but at the same time, it's like whatever, I'm letting uh, a subscriber have this car that he's been subscribed for a very long time. And at the same time, I can use that money to build whatever the hell that looks like. <laughs> Doesn't look like an M3 from over here, but. Wait, 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 wait. So they know it's in this you know? You gotta, yeah. you gotta flex with the... Oh my Boy, God. that's what I'm talking about. 
So yeah, that's where all the money's going. <laughs> into that. <laughs> right, right there. So to sell this perfectly running car, to just go into that. And I sold the perfectly running car just to get this. So that's how expensive these cars are. See, I picked it up for a good deal, but at the same time, it's gonna need a lot of work. But you know, all for the content purposes, it's well worth. I'll let you guys know when the buyer's here. I'm gonna ask him if he's cool uh, for me to record the car, but just one little, um, you know, short clip of the car real quick before uh, she, we say goodbye. Where the hell did we go wrong? My love for you was so strong. And now that your love is gone, I think it's time to move on. Listen. I was hoping you guys brought more than one person. I was like, yeah. I mean, I'm hoping you guys, like, you know, thought this through. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. You wanna take it out for a spin? Uh, yeah, sure. All right, guys. So we just went on a test drive here. The boys. I want to pick up the new whip. So, um, you guys want to introduce yourselves? I'm Nick. I'm Gabriel. So that's what's up. They're here to pick up the 330. They're also gonna check out the M3 um, before any of y'all. <laughs> so I guess that's the perks of buying a car from me. <laughs> so um, yeah, they're checking it out. It's pretty mess, but um. I'm lying. Let's go. <laughs> we, got, we got to focus about the M3 right now. <laughs> Let's go. We're good? Yeah. Where the hell did we go wrong? My love for you was so strong. And now that your love is gone, I think it's time to move on. Listen. So, uh, what you doing? Figuring something out. <laughs> right there's a sensor over here. Guys, what's going on? This is day two. We're gonna be removing the other rim on this sucker. We want to take off all the suspension. We gotta figure out what's going on with that wheel. It's like pushing against the frame. And also, I read you guys' comments. Don't worry. See, I, I read them. You guys want me to clean up the engine bay on the top so you guys can see the V8. It actually looks good and all. So right now it's super dusty. We're just gonna go ahead and clean all this off for you guys real quick. And then also, uh, I want to I wanna diagnose what's going on with this wheel. You guys saw, we removed this wheel, we removed all the control arms and everything. It's completely to the bare bone. Um, we ordered all new suspension on both sides for, from FCP Euro to get it like, you know, insured and everything. You know, just, just in case we end up breaking it when we track it. <laughs> we'll have free replacements, which is awesome. So if you guys look at this wheel right now, it is rubbing against, you know, the wheel well, which means there's clearly an issue. So I know the tie rod is bent, that could be one issue. The control arm is broken. So there's only one other arm that I don't know if it is broken or not. We're gonna replace everything though, but let's just remove everything and see um, if, ever, if the wheel at least straightens out. So at least we know it's nothing to do with like the, the actual spring, the suspension. We are gonna go either coilovers or bags on this car um, in the end of the day if everything works out according to plan. So that's gonna get replaced anyways. But for the meantime, this car is already gonna cost enough as it is, especially we gotta do the maintenance of rod bearings on this thing. So let's hope that the strut's salvageable. Yes, yeah, so let's get into it. I'm super excited. Let's go ahead and uh, pop up this ugly ass wheel. Uh, and I was never a fan of these M3 wheels, but if you guys like them, let me know. Oh boy. Yeah, it's really not good. It's like push back. Oh shit, it's like on the rotor. I think the best thing, honestly, we're gonna go ahead and remove these bolts so we can move this whole uh, assembly forward because I don't wanna I don't wanna mess up this uh, this plate either. Are you serious? Is that <laughs> is the sprinkler is really going on? Anyways, we're gonna try to go ahead and remove these bolts so we can actually salvage this. We don't wanna mess that up and we don't wanna mess up the caliper either. Let's go ahead and clean this ugly mess so you can see this beautiful V8. Guys, I have to get a new badge. That's kind of irritating. <laughs> Not that any of this other stuff isn't irritating. <laughs> I want a new badge. All right, boys, shout out to my boy Johnny over here for detailing the engine bay with some brake cleaner. <laughs> Who gives a shit with you? Air of style up in here. Um, we're just gonna go ahead and remove all those other control arms and tie rods off that wheel so we can get that wheel off, check the caliper, see if it's seized up, and uh, see what's salvaged from this side. I think the wheel still could be fine. I don't see any bends, but we won't know until we take it off. So just get, let's just get into it. Sleep alone. 
this is what we're up to guys. Yeah, so we just got the tie rod out. Honestly, the uh, steering rack looks good, so we might be able to test that in a little bit, but uh, we just gotta get this tie rod out and then the stupid control on, and we should be good to go on this side. The battery's about to die, so give me a few, uh, a few minutes. I'm just gonna remove these other two, just like the other side. Just gonna try to wiggle it and try to get the, these two bolts out, so I don't wanna kill any more battery. So, uh, battery's about to die. I'm just gonna cut you guys off for a second. These arms are ridiculous. Yeah, you gotta put on mask form. Oh my god. What's a mask for anyway? Uh, I don't know. I'm done. <laughs> I actually don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, part of our undercover <laughs> operation. You, you took a shower so you wouldn't have to help us. No, me? I no, I wouldn't do something like that. Yeah, you would. <laughs> yeah, me? You would. It's so clean. Oh my God, guys. We're about to test two more things. We're gonna test the, uh, we're gonna test the steering wrap to make sure that everything's functioning with that. And then uh, we're also gonna test the, the caliper to make sure that's not seized up. And then after that, we just have one little thing that came in the mail today, which is this little bracket thing for the hoses. So we're gonna install that anyways. Might as well make it look better. All right guys, so fortunately in the process of saving this spindle, we had to say goodbye to Jack and Larry, my two favorite screwdrivers. <laughs> Nothing will replace these guys. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. We're just gonna go to Harbor Freight and spend extra two dollars. No big deal. Anyways, we saved the spindle, <laughs> so <laughs> that's all that matters. Um, but yeah, we're gonna test. I don't know if you guys can see, but uh, right there, you guys can see that the the you guys can see that the steering rack is popped out, and on this side it's not. So my job is gonna turn the steering wheel, see if that thing can move from that side to that side just fine, and if that moves just fine, that'd be perfect. Uh, and at the same time, we're gonna test that uh, rotor just to make sure that it, uh, the brake caliper actually can latch onto it, make sure that the rotor is not seized up from the accident. All right, Jonathan, go ahead and turn it to your left. All right, it's going in from that side. Oh, keep going. Perfect, all right, we're leaking a lot of power stealing. That's no big deal, but a little bit more. Oh, dear heavens, all right, well that, yeah. <laughs> All right, John. <laughs> we don't want to lose all this power steering. Anyways, that's a really good sign, guys. So it looks like our steering rack is good. So the next thing we got to test right now is this rotor to make sure it's not seized up. So right now, as you guys can see, I can switch the, I can turn the rotor. All right, but can you click on the brakes real quick, Johnny? Yep, and I cannot move it. Oh. Yep, so everything's good right now. This uh, strut's moving a lot. Let me go ahead and make sure the other one's not moving at all uh, because I think the strut could be shot. All right, this is moving just a little bit. The other one is moving a lot, so that could be a bad sign, but we'll figure that out when we're actually, yeah, we'll figure that out later. But the, the last thing we wanna do in this video is just install the little, uh, what's it called, bracket that holds all the hoses in line. So let's go ahead and install that real quick, and then uh, should actually complete this whole front end piece right here. All right, guys, so this is the new one, this is the old one. Uh, this side's pretty good, but as you guys can see right here, this is all kinked up, messed up. That should not look like that. So we went ahead and ordered the new bracket. It's gonna go ahead and install it. Hopefully everything just lines up properly. All right guys, and the last screw on here uh, goes to this rubber thing that actually comes with a lot of the hoses, so I'm just gonna leave that right there. Uh, but I'll keep it in here just in case I might need it. But um, yeah, that's everything, and I think we are good on the bracket, so that's great. We just have to get all, once we get all the hoses, we can uh, install them, properly secure them, and then hopefully get this car started, because that's super exciting. Um, honestly, really excited. You guys, some of you guys have been saying that we should do the, some of you guys are saying that we should probably start getting into the water pump and the thermostat right now. To be honest, you can access that from the top on this car, fortunately, very easy, so I'm not gonna worry about that right now. We have other things to worry about, like we have the rod bearings, uh, which is the biggest concern for me, so as soon as we get this car on the road, first place this car is going is to a shop for the rod bearings, because I don't wanna deal with none of that. I don't want this car blown up on me. We wanna make sure this thing lasts as long as possible because this, this baby's here to stay. All right guys, it's kind of the middle of the night right now. This is day four. I'm gonna be recording an outro. That's why this video took so long to get out. It's just been a lot of like things that have been coming up. I've been literally just studying for all my classes. I'm so sorry about that. But uh, hopefully guys, when I promise y'all something like 500 likes, I'll get a video out. You guys are just smack, you guys are killing that you know that like button you guys are going pe above and beyond 500 likes you guys went to i think to a thousand on the first one and like 900 something on the second one so yeah let's see if we can smash 800 likes on this video and i promise on my name and my family's name that i will get a video out in two days of this video so if you guys really want to see another video make sure to smash the like button 800 likes and no matter what i will get another video out for you guys
I love y'all so much. I'm just gonna try to finish up this last study for this last major exam that I have right now. And then I'll go right back to the M3. Trust me, I really wanna go work on it. It's just stupid exams. I'm in a pain in my ass. I'm sure a lot of you guys can relate. Me and my brother and my cousins thought of a really good idea. Of, so like a major giveaway. Uh, so we'll announce that also in the next video, uh, how we wanna go about doing this giveaway because it's not cheap. Um, but uh, we'll discuss that hopefully in the next video as well. So make sure you smash that like button, 800 likes, and we will get the video out for you guys in the next day or two. I love you all so much. Remember to stay humble and peace out. Bye.